Norman Calloway, was born in the remote New South Wales town of Hay on the 5th of April 1896. When his family moved to Sydney when he was a teenager, Calloway made an immediate impact with his cricketing ability. In 1913, the boy from the country became the youngest batsman to score a century in Sydney grade cricket, scoring 137 not out for Paddington against Middle Harbour at the age of only 17 and 196 days. After joining the Waverley Club, Callaway continued to amass runs in grade cricket and at the age of 18 was selected to play for New South Wales, making his debut against Queensland in February 1915. Playing on the Sydney cricket ground, New South Wales were three wickets down for 17 runs when Callaway came to the crease. He quickly impressed with his orthodox batting technique, including a solid defence and powerful off drive. Lofting the ball over the infield, Callaway began striking the pickets regularly, outshining his captain at the other end, test player Charlie McCartney. Despite giving a number of chances to the Queenslanders along the way, Callaway forged ahead, passing his maiden century to score 207 runs in 214 minutes, striking 26 boundaries along the way. When his wicket finally fell, Callaway had helped take the New South Wales total to six for 387. With a dominant home team victory, Callaway didn't get the chance to play a second innings in what would be the final New South Wales match before the ongoing war called a halt to interstate cricket. In June 1915, Australian cricket legend Victor Trumper died tragically of kidney disease at the age of 37. Like the fallen master, Callaway's orthodox technique and aggressive batsmanship had many cricket fans feeling that he was Trumper's brilliant heir apparent. With first class cricket postponed in the 1915-16 season, Callaway went back to club cricket, scoring back to back centuries, just missing out on topping the season batting averages, coming second only to test batsman Warren Bardsley. In the off season, Callaway enlisted for service in the First World War on the 17th of May 1916 and was taken on strength by the 19th Infantry Battalion in France in February 1917. In the winter of 1916-17, the German army had built a defensive position on the Western Front known as the Hindenburg Line. The heavily fortified defences included extensive barbed wire entanglements and concrete pillboxes housing machine guns, a formidable obstacle for any attacking force. After an unsuccessful attack to break the Hindenburg Line and capture the French town of Bullecourt in April 1917, the 6th and 5th Australian Infantry Brigades, the latter including Callaway's 19th Battalion, were tasked to achieve the objective. At 4am on the 3rd of May 1917, Private Norman Calloway and his 19th Battalion on the right flank of the advance on the Hindenburg Line, south of Bullecourt, surged forward. The Germans opened up on the advancing lines with rifle, machine gun and artillery fire. It was reported that Calloway was seeking cover in a crater when a shell caused him a catastrophic head injury killing him instantly at the age of 21. Occurring at the height of battle, Callaway's body was lost in the carnage, his identification and pay book not retrieved. Initially listed as missing as a result of that, he was later confirmed as having been killed in action. The Second Battle of Bullecourt lasted another fortnight and was a success for the British Allies, with Bullecourt and the trench system extending to Rincourt 
held despite German counterattacks. Asked by the Wargrave service for a headstone inscription for their son and brother, Callaway's grieving family offered the following. A soldier and a man he died, honoured by all, his country's pride. But with no known grave, Callaway would not receive a headstone. His name is recorded on the Villas Bretonneau Memorial in France and the Australian War Memorial Roll of Honour in Canberra. At Waverley Oval, where Callaway played his final seasons with the Waverley Club, a memorial portrait dedicated to him was hung on the pavilion wall with the stanza of a poem beneath it. And though there's never a grave to tell, nor a cross to mark his fall, thank God we know that he batted well in the last great game of all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.